guess where this thing come from? Patrick has brought this home. Uh, he's, that's the place where we have been here and started all of the equipment and uh, way out yonder you see the boom of the excavator. And if you look way, way, way out there, you can see the freight liner that Jacob and I started and drove from the back field. But he sent me some pictures where he was buying this and getting it ready. He trailered it home on his trailer there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it runs. He's got a water hose. He's been piddling with it. An old Ford C0850. Am I saying that right? Guys that really like this kind of stuff, that follow this kind of stuff, that know this kind of stuff. Looks like the chain snatched the bumper up. I don't know. Looked like the bumper might have been, I think, well, right there, that's pretty doggone close. I don't know how they would have done that any different. But I really like this sort of thing. Well, they've been piddling. Don't know if they got it done. They got a crescent wrench. And they got starting fluid. So they got the basics. Then they got some wires and trying to get something hot. Looks like they got a filter off of it. Well, look at all this control panel here. Oh, this might tell us a little something. Great Eastern Fire Apparatus, New Jersey Fire Equipment. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Look at that. May, January 1965. I was five years old when this thing was made. Oh, I don't think they got it to run yet. Last tagged in 12. This could just be it. <laughs> oh, that scared me. Well, there's some 08s. Somebody from Baldwin County had it at one time because that five is Baldwin County. As most of us Alabamians know, there's another Crescent Ranch. Look at this. I thought that said Sonic, but at eight inch and blind can't see cobalt it's blue though i wonder how that happened and yeah, some rope and some auburn tiger stuff <laughs> well, look at that there's a hole there's a pom-pom blankets All kind of neat stuff in here. This is what Jacob missed today by not coming with me. He would have enjoyed this immensely, I'm sure. Immensely. Did y'all ever think y'all would hear a word like that come out of my mouth? And actually mean, put it, put it in the right meaning? Mm. Well... Look in here. <clears throat> Looks to me like they might have just carried this to the ball games. Tailgating. Had a real good time with it. I don't think now. Well, there's the huge joint. He did take the drive line out of it. He sent me a video of that. I'll have that in this video. I'm actually waiting for him to get here. Uh There's just no telling what's in there for them to.
This guy probably had bought it from uh, some local. And then he just fixed this up to, for his tailgating and traveling. Uh, I, I'll try to find out if this was actually in the Auburn community many years ago. But I'm going to guess he just uh, dolled it up for batteries. For ball games and tailgating and just having a good time with. Some more batteries. Hoses went there. I guess these are going to be water intakes. Well, that has weathered over the years, hasn't it? Now well, there's all the pumping. There's what makes it all happen right there. Mm. Okay, well there's the drive line that he's out <laughs> There's a for sale sign. Better than 8,500. I don't know if you need several of them before you pull the trigger at 8,495, but hey, what I know. <laughs> when these firemen got there, they were ready. Okay, there's a battery. Pretty neat. Kind of just springs in there, huh? No, I don't want to. That needs some WD-40 on it. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. This looks like maybe some benches and they sat back here and went to the, went just had a good time. I do, I do really love the old cab overs forge like this, I, I do. I don't know if I owned it that I wouldn't take that off, but hey, I don't know why, I don't know what I would do with it, but it would make, you know, a, a good service truck. Something, you know, to make a service truck, work truck, pull up on that. There's all kind of things you could do with this. If that's a 65 model fire apparatus system, then this is probably a 65 model truck. Does the cab go over on these trucks? Not for sure. Probably. I don't know how that works, but let's just check. Oh, it's got a key in it, so it should start. 
no electronic parking brakes back there in that day. Nineteen. Well, I don't know yet. I'm just guessing. Nineteen sixty-five. I guess that's the. That probably didn't come stock from Ford. Not, not for sure, but probably, probably a little bit nearer than nineteen sixty-five. Let me get up in here. I got to see how many miles is on this thing. That step isn't too bad, but I don't want to pull on that. I'm going to pull on this. See if you can go. 20,565 miles. Do y'all think that's original? <laughs> you know what? It definitely wasn't, it wouldn't surprise me. For well, heavy duty dealers. Oh, look at that. Long Lewis Hardware Company. And but they're still in business. Courtesy Ford. That is just so interesting to me. North Dakota had one in Bismarck, Fargo, Minot, and Williston. Well, there it is, 1964. Ford quality heavy duty truck accessories. Western type Maris. Truck seat covers. Dual air horns. Fomoco genuine parts. I, I tell you, I don't know that I ever remember that. I know that's Ford Motor Company, but I don't remember it ever being called that. Interesting. Let's see what's in here. No, oh, there's a tag receipt. 1965. This darn tag costs two hundred and three dollars. Book right here is what thirty four be forty be thirty seven years old. This document should not be used to determine compliance with the US DOT hazardous material regulations. Of course not. We just print it out. And it's got US Department of Transportation. Controls. Let's see. Got a five speed. Okay. Oh, boy, I, that's springy still. That's for sure. I didn't. I didn't slam it. It just took it from me. Disengage pump. Throw switch. Up, roll down, engage clutch. Drive shaft in it and see if we can get it started, which I'm sure to start and drive this thing around. See if any of the lights come on. But I wonder if this is just what you call a pumper. Slip yoke always goes to the front, best I can remember. Oh yeah, it ain't going anywhere. Hang on, my Hang on. That may need a may need a hammer. There you go. Perfect. You probably gonna need to just try this top part. See if you can just make that go in there. No, yeah.
checked it. Tip. Now I'll fast forward it. How about getting in a truck and make sure it's in neutral? All right. So, also look for a parking brake. And engage it? Take it off. Uh, yes, sir. We got to spin. Uh. Cable, wiggle that parking brake back and forth. Something hit these things. Did you notice that? It come out, when you took it out, I was asking the two bolts on Jacob's side is bent. Like when it come out, it just took it and bent those two bolts, holding it in back toward that way. I don't think it's gonna be a problem, but uh, they're definitely bent. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Since that one's been up there, I'm gonna try to put that one in first. Okay, let me get it. All right, all right. Let's... I don't know what the heck I was thinking just then. What do you mean? Let's pull it back out, son. Uh -huh. Somehow or another, it uh, bent these two. I'm just thinking when he took it off, instead of it sliding off, the weight of the uh, drive shaft when it went back that way, just bent these off and then the cups come off. So we're gonna have to try to get the yoke off and go put some bolts in there and, re and, and redo that. I think we can replace the bolts and the nuts and be good. Perfect. It's tight, ain't it? Yep. It ain't probably. <laughs> no, it's it's tight. It went. That no, it you turned the whole thing. Uh oh. It's still turning. Turn it, Jacob. It's a PB blaster. Yeah, it's still turning if you can catch a gear. Just keep turning, he'll catch a gear in a minute. You got something in. There you go, Patrick. When it come off those right there, so I bent those, that shaft, when it come off, it did that, but it ain't nothing but a, just gotta get the bolts, it's got the right shoulder to them. It'll just spline right in that yoke. All right, I got to walk up to the house and get my dog up. Did you keep the did you keep that piece of carter pen? Alright, we're gonna let's go ahead and get this back on the back. Hang on. Yeah, that's the end. So 
loosen it? Yeah, I tightened it, so. What shouldn't have took that long yesterday has taken a long time. So I'm going to take it back down off of that and hook it up to here first. Yeah, I'm going to do it these way because I'm right here by myself. Wait, that, that, wait, wait a minute. Well, that gum. Maybe one more time. There. That didn't take long. We're not going to try to start it today. Here's a video of it running. Fire in the hole. Patrick uh, took and they run it off ether. The seats in the carburetor were stuck, I think, and just boiling out gas. Uh, th this cousin that's helping him with it just didn't have time to do it. They had the kid in. But I'm going to just flip this hood over, kind of show uh, the ones that don't know. Uh, which ones to, I don't know if you can see where I'm, this is really where I need Jacob in here. Right there. This might be difficult to do by myself, but anyway, I'm gonna pull that and see if I can't lift this hood up by myself. Oh, I get one. I put a little, and the other one. Yeah, Patrick said it was like a two-man job. He said it was easier with two, and I see exactly what the heck he's talking about. And that right there, guarantee you had a spring that pulled both of them at one time and locked it. Bitch. Well, I'm gonna try it one more time. I ain't gonna give up that easy. Oh, that bottom one. All right. Oh. Woo. Lord, have mercy. Water reservoir got to be yeah that's pretty handy look at them springs right there there's the battery that is pretty neat but if you couldn't see this is well honestly that really couldn't Actually, I uh, see that one does that one and this one does that one. Oh boy But now that was a booger I don't know what size engine that is He even painted his oil filler orange. But yeah, he's got to get that done and get this carburetor fixed. Patrick really just wants to use this for the local parades. Uh, he's got the fuel filter off too. 
hopefully carry the football team, cheerleaders, band, ever what fit in that, drive them around on, a, on parade day or something. But yeah, there it is. Drive lines back in it. Just waiting on the carburetor. Uh, it's gonna have to probably fix the slave cylinder on the hydraulic clutch. Uh, probably a whole lot of stuff. If it's been sitting for 10 years, you know there's gonna be a lot to do to it. But I hope y'all enjoyed this little video. I, uh, I enjoy trucks like this. I wish we could have started and drove it around, see if the sirens worked, but it didn't. Thank y'all for watching, and remember, don't be wily.